Hello everyone, this time, I will walk you through Asakusa Temple area and introduce you to the Japanese candy craft shop called Aimshin located nearby. Sensoji Temple is a Buddhist temple located in Asakusa and is considered one of the oldest temples in Tokyo, Japan. Sensoji Temple have been founded in the year 628. Practitioner of the Tendai sect of Buddhism. Throughout its history, Sensoji Temple experienced several fires and conflicts that led to its destruction, but it was reconstructed each time. Particularly in the early Edo period, it was rebuilt by Tokugawa Ayasu and continued to attract a significant following of worshippers. At the heart of Sensoji Temple are the Niyaman Gate and the five-story pagoda. Various Buddhist ceremonies and annual events take place within the temple grounds, such as the Sanja Matsuri and Amakuji fortune-telling paper strips. Minamoto no Yoritamo established the Kamakura Shogunate in 1192. Yoritamo played a key role in shaping the military government of medieval Japan. During this period, Asakusa Temple Sensoji existed as an important religious institution in Tokyo. Yoritamo, recognizing the significance of religious support, provided patronage and protection to Asakusa Temple. 30 million people from both domestic and international locations visit this place annually. The Neoman Gate, also known as the Thundergate Kamenaraman, is adorned with a large lantern in front. The Nakamai's district extending from Kamenaraman Thunder Gate to Sensoji Temple. The street has a rich history dating back to the Edo period, exuding a traditional atmosphere. The shopping district is lined with traditional Japanese confectionery shops, traditional craft stores, and establishments that evoke the distinctive charm of Asakusa. Traditional souvenirs and foods are abundant on Kama Street, offering a wide range of products that allow visitors to experience Japanese culture. Items such as traditional sweets, pressed flower crafts, folding fans, and yukata summer kimono are prominently featured, providing an opportunity to immerse oneself in the traditions of Japan. Throughout the year, Kama Street hosts various events and festivals tailored to different seasons. For example, during Setsubun at Sensoji Temple or the cherry blossom season, the street comes alive with vibrant and lively atmospheres. It serves as a leisurely haven for both tourists and local residents alike. Beyond tourists, the locals frequent Kama Street, making use of its cafes and eateries, creating a relaxed environment for strolling. As a place where Japanese tradition and contemporary culture intersect, Asakusa's Kama Street is cherished by many. Nakamai's is one of the oldest shopping streets in Japan. After Tokugawa Ayasu established the Tokugawa Shogunate, the population of Edo present-day Tokyo increased, and the influx of visitors to Sensoji Temple further enlivened the area. As a result, 
The people living nearby who were tasked with the duty of cleaning the temple grounds were granted the privilege of setting up stalls and conducting business along the temple precincts and approach. This marked the beginning of Nakamai's, which is said to have originated around the Jinroku and Kyoho eras 1688-1735. During the Edo period, the shops near the Nyaman Gate were referred to as Yakudana official shops, and there were 20 tea houses lined up. On the side of the Kamanaraman Gate, they were called Hiramai's flat shops, and they sold various items such as toys, sweets, and souvenirs. Gradually, the number of shops increased, and Nakamai's developed into the most well-organized shopping street in Japan. In the current Nakamai Street, there are 54 shops on the east side, 35 shops on the west side, totaling 89 establishments. The street spans approximately 250 meters and is adorned with beautiful unified illuminated signs and seasonal decorations that shimmer on the cobblestone pavement. Visitors from overseas, passing through the Thunder Gate, cannot help but be deeply moved by the splendid Japanese atmosphere. The original Hozomon Gate was built in 942 by the military commander Terra no Kimasa. Tokugawa Emitsu, the third shogun of the Tokugawa dynasty, advanced construction of the temple complex, and a new gate was installed in 1649. In the ritual of cleansing at the water pavilion, begin by holding the ladle Hishaku in your right hand and purify your left hand. Next, transfer the ladle to your left hand and purify your right hand. Once again, hold the ladle in your right hand, scoop water with your left hand, and rinse your mouth to cleanse it. Please note not to put your mouth directly on the ladle. Finally, stand the ladle upright, pour water over the handle, cleanse it, and return it to its original position. The Nightenman is a vermilion painted gate located to the east of the main hall, and the current gate was constructed in the second year of Kian 1649 as the eastern gate of Sensoji Temple. Originally known as the Zuishimen or Gate of the Attendant, it enshrines statues of the guardian deities Toyo Wamadono Makoto and Kushio Wamadono Makoto referred to as Zuishin images on the left and right. The Nightenman is a valuable example of early Edo period architecture that still stands within the temple grounds and has been designated as an important cultural property by the government. After undergoing renovations completed in 2010, it has been restored to its vivid appearance from the time of its initial construction. Asakusa's Aimshin is a specialized traditional candy craft store that boasts the foremost expertise in Japan. We are dedicated to preserving the traditional art of candy crafting and striving for its continuous advancement through Japan's time-honored techniques. The prototype of Amazaiku traditional Japanese candy art is said to date back to around the 8th century, and during the Edo period, artisans began to stroll through towns selling their creations, 
becoming widely embraced as a form of entertainment for the common people. The techniques of Amazaiku have been passed down through generations, continuing to thrive over the years. Candy sculpting is a traditional Japanese art form where softened candy, heated to around 90 degrees Celsius, is skillfully shaped using bare hands and a single pair of scissors. Taking advantage of the candy's property to become soft when heated and solidify when cooled, candy sculpting requires the artist to complete the shaping within a few minutes of taking the candy from the pot. Unlike carving, Candy sculpting does not involve cutting or removing excess material. Instead, the artist crafts the candy by shaping and stretching a round blob attached to a stick, all the while avoiding unnecessary waste by cutting or elongating with scissors. In Aimshin, in addition to live demonstrations and sales of candy sculpting, there are also hands-on workshops where visitors can enjoy the experience of making their own candy sculptures. Candy Craft Experience Classes Reservation Required Adults, 3,100 yen including tax Children High School Students and below, 2,500 yen including tax Duration Approximately 1.5 to 2 hours A pair of Japanese straw sandals with a height of 4.5 meters, a width of 1.5 meters, and a weight of 500 kilograms, using 2,500 kilograms of straw, was dedicated by volunteers from Murayama City, Yamagata Prefecture in October of Heisei 30, 2018. This marks the eighth dedication since the first one in Showa 16, 1941. It is said that the giant straw sandals symbolize the divine power of Neo-Sama benevolent kings, and that when people marvel at those wearing such large sandals, it is believed that evil spirits are driven away, protecting the temple. The Nakamai's shopping street also has back alleys. Now let's going back to Kaminari Mon Gate.
Ibusa is known as a popular tourist destination in Tokyo where you can rent and wear traditional Japanese kimonos for sightseeing. Well that's it for today. Thank you for watching Smart Travel Japan. See ya.